All right, shalom. So first and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rechach Wadash, double honor to our apostle, the bishops, and the elders of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. Greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, elect out there, shalom unto you, much prayers unto you. All right, brother, you with a quick video, and this is about the pastors, man. About about pastors, man. We got we gotta touch on these topics, okay? And and man, I had other videos. I'm trying to think. Um, but this is showing you that the Christian church isn't the place, uh, for you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Jakes or you Israelites, according to, to, to Bible, to, um, to the Bible, all right, to your, your biblical history, all right? And it's, of course, through faith. Don't say, oh, how do you prove it? It's a, it's a faith thing. And the, the prophecies and the, and the, uh, and the scriptures line up with the spirit of our people, all right? So... Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to get kind of into this. And uh, this was the first one uh, under law and crime. It says, we went to tussling, right? Pastor accused of pushing Cook's head toward deep fryer in McDonald's assault after uh, wife calls for his help saying workers were disrespecting her. Okay. And as a pastor, you're supposed to be a man of wisdom according to the scriptures, okay? Supposed to be able to, to execute wisdom. And this man, first off, his wife works at McDonald's. Okay, that's where she works. That's fine. But you come in there emotional because she was emotional. Okay, that's exactly what it sounds like. This guy here is a North Carolina pastor allegedly uh, tried shoving a McDonald's cook into a fryer after the pastor's wife, a manager in training, had called him saying she was being disrespected. All right. There, uh, Dwayne Waden, seven, Dwayne Waden, anyway, 57 faces charges of assault in the attack of the 34 year old cook. All right. We don't need those. This says the drama happened on December 28th at the eatery in 2738 South Main in High Point. Okay. Waden's wife called him saying she was being disrespected. Okay. It says a police report obtained uh, by crime, a law and crime, allegedly asphyxiation that alleging asphyxiation that the victim was held down and was hit and struck. Um, outlines the allegations. Witnesses said the suspect came in the McDonald's, walked around the counter, and placed his hands around the neck of the victim, pushing his head toward the deep fryer. The report said the offender. Also punched the offender several times in the face and did not stop until several employees pulled the offender off of the victim. The document read, the victim uh, suffered a large contusion to the forehead and right eye along with scratches on his neck. All right, it says, uh, I just got assaulted the victim, hospitalized uh, after the attack reported reportedly in a 911 Call obtained by a local Fox affiliate WGHP. Uh, I was hit in my face several times and I have asthma, so I'm having an asthma attack. Waiting was arrested, video, uh, restaurant video captured the incident, police said. Freed from custody on bond, Waiting described to local CBS affiliate WFMY TV how he said it went down after the worker came up from behind mouthing off at me and disrespecting my wife. He got in my face. This is quote. He got in my face. And this is this is the, the problem I'm reading this. The problem with this situation is this is a pastor. When is he going to, mean, don't get me wrong, we're all human, right? We're all supposed to be, you know, men and women on earth or whatever the case may be or your, your pronouns or whatever you go by. But we're all supposed to be just civilized uh, people. But as a pastor, you're supposed to have a higher responsibility with how you treat people, how you talk to people, how you diffuse situations, and so on and so forth. And that's just wisdom. Okay? So when he grabbed me, and look, he, he disrespected me, and that's all they're saying so far with his wife. Did he grope her? In any, any situation outside of trying to kill her is, is, is worth a conversation over... Um, just getting right to the tussle, right? It says, um, 
I pushed him and uh, so he got he got me in the face and when I got he got in my face and when he got in my face I pushed him and when I pushed him he grabbed me waiting and told the station. So when he grabbed me, you know, we went to tussling and stuff of that nature and the floor was real slippery. So you know, I kind of bear hugged him and when I bear hugged him he punched me in the back of my head. So when he punched me in the back of of my head, I commenced to swing. Um, in the statement, McDonald said that the pastor's wife is no longer employed at the franchise and the safety and security of our employees and customers is our top priority. Don't tell me that's the footage. No, this looks like the end of this. In an interview, Wade's wife told WGHP that he had called her husband a pastor of Elevated Life International Ministries <laughs> telling him her employees had been directing expletives at her. He arrived at the restaurant, told her to gather her belongings and clock out. He did not push in the worker's head into the fryer, the station reported. All right. Let's see if there's any more. Nope. Well, no, no. Court. Yeah, court on the 22nd. All right. So this is just one incident of of the, the ill-informed position of the pastor okay you know where this is going to end up going but let me grab a see if i can grab these other ones right quick all right this is under uh afro beats plus or whatever it says gospel singer a eric moyo dies after collapsing on stage fans mourn okay the news came in early this week about the passing of south african gospel singer eric uh file mayo who died at a hospital after collapsing on stage. Okay, the gospel singer collapsed on stage. Where is God protecting you guys? All right, I got another one. It's not just the, 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 the so-called Negro child. He looks like a Jake, right? He kept asking, Jesus, he said, Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus told him, thou have said, he meant, Polly, you said, but I didn't say that. You said, read your Bible. And Polly, when he know that Jesus didn't do anything. Damn joke, man. Okay. This is what you get when you when you when you have these. Look, he ain't he ain't said nothing. He he went on and breathing it, man. It's a, Christianity and 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 the black church is a joke, man. Okay, I'm even looking for the Hispanic uh, singer that was singing gospel and, and, and collapsed as well. See if I can find it right quick. Okay, and then at the top, the with the unclean frogs. Okay, how you gonna have this as one of those top entities in the world of the beast? And this guy's saying this, okay? He's supposed to be, the, the, the Pope is supposed to be the guy that speaks on behalf of the Father, right? But look, Pope says priests can bless same-sex unions. Requests should not be subject to moral analysis. Because he's with it. Okay? Because he's with it. Now, is that what the Bible says? No, that's not what the Bible says. I'm not here to get into that particular topic. It's an easily... Uh, one of those topics that will get your, your page struck and taken down. But we should be able to go right into to, to Leviticus, the 18th chapter, the 20th chapter, and look right into these things and, and show you. Okay, when the wicked uh, bless, um, you know, it's abomination, uh, to roughly, roughly paraphrase that, okay? But back to the topic, is is you Jake's out there, you, you, you believe in the Pope and all of that, but at the end of the day, the, the places that you fill up are these. It's with this guy's church, okay? And when you see the, the Bishop T.D. Jakes and you hear about all the issues he's going through, okay? And it's like it says right here, whatever they said he did, he did it. And it's funny. Because when you see him in this way, you see him for the, for, the, for the greasy man he truly is. He ain't all dolled up and made up. Like at his, at his, at his, you know, at, at his sermons in church. All right. But is he really edifying people? Is he really prophesying unto people? Is he really teaching about who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ? No, he called right on that name as well. And he means the other white meat. He ain't talking about Yahweh Shai, man. He ain't describing it as the Bible depicts it, right? 
Now let's go to some of these videos I got on him. So this is Geno Jennings, which he's moving in the right direction, but not under the right understanding. Okay, and he, I'm going to play the whole video on this one. All right, so Geno Jennings publicly addresses T.D. Jakes and P. Diddy. What happens next will leave you speechless. No, right? I so he's going to go in on them for three minutes. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but... Yes. We don't be. <laughs> Am I right, man? Yeah. Hoorah! Hoorah! Entertained by it, man. Stay feminine energy on that dance, man. Just over a year ago, footage of Jake's attending Diddy's 53rd birthday bash in Los Angeles stirred social media buzz. A young male has reportedly engaged legal representation to sue Jake's for an incident that occurred when he was 16. Allegedly, the minor, whose family attended the Potter's house until his departure in 2015, claims he was coerced into performing. Now I'm going to pause it right here. Okay, he was coerced into sexual things, what he was about to say, but you got to think, and the gates languish, man. Okay, as time has gone on, the people have gotten weaker with age, and and even the positions of our of our Pharisees slash pastors slash uh, teachers, seers, prophets, all of them have gone way off the deep end now. Okay, our gates have completely languished. There's nobody connecting us to the heavenly Father, and there's nobody warn us of, of what will happen if we don't connect back to the Heavenly Father. Well, you're looking at the guys now. We're standing on the corners. We're standing all across the, 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 the Internet, okay, proclaiming the, the prophecies of the world that are coming. All right? I'm not going to play any more of this. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's a TikTok video. There's plenty of it on here going into this guy, showing you we know what the allegations of, of P. Diddy is, Okay. Let me play another video with, with Jake's the Snakes, as he said. You can't do this 50 years and I ain't been at a fight. I ain't been at a storm. I ain't been up under a tight. I'm fine. Really? He not a Look at this church now, though. Empty as hell in that church. That church empty in the mud, man. That church empty. He up there going. Cancel. Look, Look at that. Look, look, nobody canceled him. Look, the people that are still going, what are you thinking? That's what blows my mind. What are you people thinking that still show up to this Potter's House church? Okay, what are you thinking? All right, so let's get into a few precepts and close out. Before I go there, I'm gonna just show this because this is the type of activity that goes on for you to have seen this video. I put it in the, in the description, the link, Lord, what did I remember? But we saw this activity on, on, on so-called New Year's, what the people were doing, all right? And what do the people really want? They want a good time. They want money to go have a good time to honor Satan and the devil, man, okay? So anyway, you get to the point, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3, If any man teach otherwise and consent not unto wholesome words, okay? And, and uh, Geno Jennings brought up the wholesome words. 
And then when you look at the uh, the footage of what he actually said, he mumbled, ah, 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 ah. and it's on YouTube. It is on YouTube. I had it, and I was going to bring it up. But for interest of time, you know, I'm not going to bring it up. And this one, uh, it says, uh, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing. This is somebody that teach otherwise. Proud, knowing nothing but... And that's why they had all that breathing now and all that talking now and ain't really saying nothing now. These are the, this is the type of guy that has all the theatrics. And we see in some of you Israelite groups as well trying to put on your, your version of the theatrics. Now with the, yeah, that's right, not that. But got rap videos and, and all this other situation riding in on horses and all of these other things, man. Saying certain things. To, to, to have the congregation, we're going to find you a husband, sister, if you come to this church. Missing the point of what this thing is about. It's about getting the minds of our people back toward the Father, man, through his only begotten Son. And giving us the key to this thing, which is the Holy Spirit through their names. Their proper names. Okay, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim, or Baha Rechachwadash, through the Holy Spirit, Okay. It says, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, uh, whereof come envy, strife, uh, railings, and evil surmising, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. What the hell is wrong with you people? That's the opposite of what Paul wrote. He said we was going to go through, through uh, uh, temptations. He said we was going to be put on the low. Okay, that that when you go to First Corinthians the fourth chapter, it says hey, we gonna work with our own. It's gonna be problems for us, man. People are not gonna listen to us. They going we we gonna not have a, a stable resting place. We are gonna be short on food, short on drinks. You know, it, it wasn't gonna be an abundance of things that money costs that that would be all right for us. I'm gonna play the uh, the video in slow motion over here. All right. Church. This is called church. Look, that that look, man. That look like the club. That look like the club, man. It's just a little bright in there. If you turn the lights down and there's a DJ booth up there, what would be the difference? Okay. Um. Yeah, verse nine. Uh, but they that will be rich, and we know that that pastor's rich, right? And a lot of them get in there to be rich fall into temptation and a snare. It's a trap being having that type of money. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, with Diddy, <laughs> which drown men in destruction and perdition. And I had an image of Nathaniel from, from the IUIC, their, their bishop, okay? And he's up there on, on damn near on the Forbes list, okay? For the, the love of money is the root of all evil, while some covet which while some covered after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, but thou, O man of, the, of Yahweh, of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness, lowliness, and humility. All right? All right? These are the things that we should be moving towards, not this what they're talking about over there. Let's go get another one or two. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to get this one in Jeremiah 1. I mean, excuse me, Jeremiah 23, verse 1. Woe be to the pastor that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saying, saith the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power Yahweh of, of Israel, you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, against the pastor that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock. And they ain't teaching dietary laws and all that either. It says, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Okay, and it just goes on and on. Um, look, verse 9. Mine heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of the Lord and because of the words of his holiness. It's Jeremiah, right? It says, for the land is full of adulterers for because of swearing. And we know. You get high enough in that in that Roman Catholic situation, you know. With, 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 we've seen it with um, people coming forward, uh, speaking on these pastors and whatnot, man, and, and the things that they're doing. We know that was Eddie Long for sure, and they, they just, it's just coming out. 
okay? That, that, hey, this man did this, he did that, all right? It says, uh, pleasant places in the wilderness are dried up and, the, and their course is evil and their force is not right. Uh, both the prophet and the priest are profane. Ooh. Yea, in my house I found their wickedness, saith the Lord. Profane means outside the sanctuary, man. It says, um, let me see. Uh, yep, verse 13. I have seen the folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal and caused my people Israel to err. Okay, to, to make mistakes, man, to go off. I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery, and that's known. All right, they walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of the evildoers, showing us the other white meat. Okay, JC. It says, uh, none that do, it, do return from his wickedness, they are all of them unto me as Sodom and, as, and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Gomorrah, man, to be destroyed, right? It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh host, uh, concerning the prophets, Behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall, for the prophets of Jerusalem is prof prof profaneness gone forth into all the land. And that's a, the joke of our of our church. Ah, and you got to speak like that. Ah. You got to have a band going real good. Ah. You got to do all these theatrics, man. To get the people to be in there to, to keep paying into that collection plate because it's a money grab, man. Okay, this ain't church. Where where the, the, the solemn spirit that's supposed to be in church? Where are the dire warnings of a prophecy in church? Okay, it ain't there. You don't see this madness happening when you go. We tell a few jokes here and there just because we're people, we're, we're, we're regular men. But at the same time, we got a dire message out there, man. A very solemn and, and serious message when we teach out there. All right? One more. You know, that, that whole chapter go in. Let's go to this one. Jeremiah chapter 5 says, For among my, and 26, For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set a snare. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. These church houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. That's the whole point. They are waxen fat, yea, they shine, yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy do they not judge. The real situations, man, where's the outrage on this, man? Where's the outrage of our youth killing each other? Where's the outrage, man, of, 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 our, of, our, of our daughters uh, uh, whoring themselves out? There's no other way to say it. Okay, we see sexy red and all of them. Where where's the outrage of this? Where's the outrage against the T D Jakes and the and the and the, and the Diddies and those on the Epstein Island uh manifesto or whatever the hell's going on? Where where's the outrage from the church? Yet our people still flocking in these places and pay. That's why in Ezekiel man of sixteen it talks about chapter it tells you how our people also pay our lovers, pay pay um they ain't paying, you know, you're supposed to get paid when you when you're playing the harlot, but no, we we play the harlot and then pay them. We go into these churches and then pay them. We pay into Christmas, into New Year's. We pay into these, these energies and, and entities that we shouldn't be around. The false prophets, we fill their pockets up. Okay? It says, shall I not visit for these things? Say, if the Lord shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Okay? And that's what's coming, man. And that's what's coming. I, I mean, there's more. That's a couple more verses I'll read it. A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means, and my people love to have it so. Okay? And what will ye do in the end thereof when destruction comes along? Because they're teaching us nothing but, but iniquity, which is sin upon sin and transgression and wickedness. And the end of that, when it when it um what does it say? When it is when it is um complete. Uh, or when it is manifest, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it is uh, finished, brings forth death. Okay, so when that time comes, when the Heavenly Father finally judges our people as need be, because you can't tell somebody that this ain't right. You can't tell these sick-ass jakes that this ain't right. They in there having a good time. They probably talked a week and a half about this, man. 
about how much a good time they had at church and they ain't learned nothing. No prophecies, no World War III, no C no C hip, none of that, man. All right, so destruction to them, man. So, you know, if you still following after this madness, man, you deserve the judgment that comes to you for it. All right, so I'm ended there giving all praise and glories in the Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Rakhakodash that belong to our apostles, bishops, and the elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect, until the next one. Shalom.